Hello, hello. In this video, I was uh, just thinking we'll do a little segment where we cozy up with the AI. The evil AI intelligence that answers our discus related questions. Today, instead of discus related questions, I was going to sit down here because they were just out and make some bi make a video about my pygmy cuckoo catfish uh, because they're a really neat fish and um, we're going to ask the AI some questions about it and its behavior but of course because I came and sat down there they're very shy and they went and took cover and now I can't get you any footage uh, that's a little uh, kind of messing up my program so we'll just wait them out they'll probably come back out in a minute after I sit, sit here still here's our new little guy he's doing wonderfully everything's looking good and uh Mr. Cloudy Eyes even looking better than he did this morning. He's, doing, he's on the mend. His behavior is great. His appetite's great. So I think I think we're just about past this. Thank God. Um, and the little one here, I'm starting to really get worried about her because her uh, her forehead's starting to slim up. Mm -hmm eating blood worms is not cutting the mustard for her um, I've done all the treatments possible she's just got an attitude problem she she's addicted to the blood worms and they don't nourish her adequately keeping her going but they're not giving her enough so I don't know I don't know. I'm gonna. I got some paracleanse on the way. I'm gonna start dosing food with that, and uh, and hope it uh, improves things for her. But like I said, I've I've, I've got some frozen paracleanse food that she's been eating, beef hearts, and uh, it's not doing anything. I'm gonna start soaking blood worms in it though. Get more of it into her, and maybe that'll help. She poops clean, so. It shouldn't be parasites. She poops normal. Uh, I think she's just got a she's got a little defect going on in her. She's she's got physical defects. She should have been culled, but the guy sold her to me, and uh, I've just been trying to work with her. So, but uh, yeah, she's she's a C grade discus. She she's not really one people should sell. Well, uh, that's the, them are the ropes. I'm gonna try and keep her alive, and uh, that's why you gotta know what you're picking. You know, in her case, she has deformed. Uh, forget the name, the lower fins, the ones that hang down. Hers are deformed. So who knows what else is wrong with her internally as a result of being deformed. But, uh, yeah, my cuckoo catfish aren't coming out, so let's just move on and start asking the AI some questions about them. I guess we'll start with something basic. Tell me about the pygmy cuckoo catfish. It's freshwater from Africa, Lake Titicaca, Tell me about the African cuckoo catfish, pygmy version. The African cuckoo catfish you're referring to is likely the Cynodontis patricola. This species is sometimes called the pygmy cuckoo catfish due to its smaller size compared to other Cynodontis species and its cuckoo-like breeding behavior. Cynodontis patricola is native to Lake Tanganyika in East Africa. It is known for its distinctive behavior of laying eggs in the nests of mouth-brooding cichlids. The catfish eggs hatch more quickly than the cichlids' eggs, and the young catfish can consume the cichlid eggs or fry. 
taking advantage of the parental care provided by the cichlids. These catfish are popular in the aquarium trade due to their interesting behavior, attractive spotted appearance, and relatively small size, making them suitable for home aquariums. They are generally peaceful and can be kept with a variety of other fish species. Um, part, is part of their parasitic Did behavior... Let me know if there's more specific information you're looking for I've noticed my pygmy cuckoo catfish cleaning the surfaces of my discus. Is this normal behavior? Yes, it can be normal behavior for a pygmy cuckoo catfish to clean the surfaces of other fish, including discus. Synodontus catfish, including the pygmy cuckoo catfish, are known to scavenge and sometimes clean other fish in an aquarium. They may pick at debris, dead skin, or parasites on the larger fish. This behavior is generally harmless and can be beneficial by helping to keep the other fish clean. However, it is essential to monitor the interaction to ensure that the discus are not stressed or harmed by the catfish's attention. And my discus don't mind it. They actually seem to seem to like it. So, um, just another layer of protection these fish are for my discus. They they will see a small little parasite sitting on my discus of skin and they'll, 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 they'll swim their way up real real quietly and then they'll flip kind of sideways and then they'll just slowly go up and chew it off them and I, I see it happen regularly and uh, I don't know what they're seeing but they see something and they go for it and it's very a very targeted let me get that for you and then they swim away they don't do it for a prolonged period of time and it's it's just an awesome an awesome thing another uh, a, another find of, of my daughter of course she knows more about these things than I do she's like here dad try these and I'm like wow they're they're actually looking after my fish that's amazing so uh, yep yeah, you can find those and you've got a, a cichlid tank you, a very interesting addition. They're going to look after your fish. Um, and uh, they have a vested interest in, in your fish's health, so they, they groom them. It's actually pretty cool. I wish one of them would come out right now so I could uh, have a video where I'm talking about the fish with the fish in it. But I will link other videos I have that show them so that you can take a quick little peek. And uh, maybe I'll just wait until they come out, catch some quick video, and uh, add it to the end of this so you can get a good look at them. Either way, I'll... I'll oh, there's one. There's one, thank God. Ooh, come here. There's a pygmy cuckoo catfish. Now come over here and clean the discus. Show, let's show everybody what you do. Over here and do it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Clean the discus vibes. No, oh, this is going away. They're beautiful little fish. Um, I think they're supposed to get about five inch long. So these aren't even adults and it took like a year and a half for them to get this big. They grow really slow. Um, they breed well but getting the babies to grow um, it takes a long time and that's why they're expensive. Three of these puppies will run you about a hundred bucks and you need to buy more than one because they they want their there's they, you need at least three. I have two of one sex and one of the other sex. I don't know which is which. One sex is darker brown and the other sex is more of a smoky uh, gray. I think like this guy. So. But, uh, 
Well, there you go. We got we got to see one. Oh, there he is. There's two more in there. Very hardy, healthy fish. Me. Just part of my cleaning crew as well, you know. They they eat everything off the bottom. Just like a quarry would. Very much like a quarry, just a much more expensive quarry. That looks way cooler. And just so happens to clean parasites off your fish. Maybe the other two will come out. Oh, come on, go, go clean that discus. Do it, do it. Do it. Oh, 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 I think, I think he was coming up. He's on the other side there doing it. He's doing it. We missed, we actually, he did it and I missed it. Jesus Christ. But you sort of saw it, right? Like, he was doing it there. He came up and came a little clean. He must have missed his target, so he's going to come back and do it again. There it is. He's very gentle about it. He just gives him a once over. But that's the behavior right there. It's hard to believe that they do it. They actually do it. I just wanted to share that with you, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad we got some footage of it. Ciao for now.